A South Tampa man is out of the hospital tonight talking about a bee attack and the allergic reaction that cut off his airway and could have killed him. Experts say he had an extremely close call with what may be Africanized bees. John Thomas spoke with the victim today. It knocked me good, really good. Now walking with a cane, Thomas O'Berry says he's lucky he survived. Put me on my butt is what it amounts to. Earlier this month, he was outside his South Tampa home on Palmyra when a man working in his yard disturbed this hive and the bees swarmed and went after him. They were on my head and I, was, I remember pulling one out of my ear. Stung numerous times, Thomas fell, bruising his arms and went into yeah. anaphylactic shock. He was rushed to the hospital where he stayed. Six days, two days uh, in a coma. And so now back home regaining strength, he rarely goes outside, not with the bees still there. So they have to go. These feral bees tend to have a, a very bad attitude. Jason Deeringer is with Stop Insect IQ course. and all Florida bee Sorry, removal, and he says these bees are most likely Africanized honeybees. Very aggressive, and having them around in a neighborhood is not a good idea. Is this colony set off by something, maybe by a squirrel or by somebody mowing the lawn or a bird lands right there? They're gonna go crazy. So cutting and digging them out is the only thing you can do. I'm all the way up to my elbow back into the, the structure. No, it's coming from yeah, here to the we back. do. On a colony this old and this large, easily 50 to 90,000 individual honeybees. They and it all has to come out. You leave any honeycomb behind and another colony might move back. And Thomas knows that is not an option. I just feel like I'm lucky I'm here. That's simple as that. As you take another look at all the bees swarming around the entranceway to their colony and all the uh, honey that's been uh, running down the side of the wall there, we're not wearing safety gear, so we have to be a little more careful now. I can tell you one of the things we have just learned, that colony doesn't just run down the soft, it's in a little ways into the attic, it runs right into the attic. If you want to see a picture of that, go to my Facebook fan page, John Thomas WFTS. In Tampa, John Thomas, ABC Action News.